It's doing it now, okay. Good evening. I'm Diane Stoltz and I'm an artist. I paint in oils, acrylics, watercolor, and pastels. I love all of these mediums and I can kind of slip easily into one, anyone, depending on the subject matter. Sometimes I paint a subject in all three of these mediums. And what with Jerry's Artorama, these contest series, we artists have been introduced to many new and exciting mediums. I grew up in New York City and was lucky enough to have parents and grandparents who were artists and musicians. And I went to all the great museums, the Metropolitan, and I went to the Met Opera, and as a small child I studied ballet and um, at the American School of Ballet. I studied drama and piano as well, that's why you hear this beautiful Beethoven music. You must always paint with music especially indoors. When you're outdoors, you have the lovely sounds of the birds and the wind to inspire you. Uh, I studied art at the Art Students League with some courses there and studied watercolor with Zoltan Zebo, pastel later with uh, Donna Aldridge at PSA, and I'm a signature member of the Kansas Watercolor Society, Missouri Watercolor Society, International Society of Acrylic Painters and Mid-America Pastel Society. Uh, and then I received my degree at uh, UMKC here in Kansas City as an undergraduate. Now I'd like to show you some of my work. This is an oil that was just at the Salmagundi Club in New York City, a very fine organization for, for artists. Here's another oil, the Missouri River. If we pan over here, Here's my favorite character. This is Gladys. Yes, one of my babies. Here's the pastel to show you all the different mediums. And here, I was luckily, luckily I um, have been fortunate to win a prize here and there, which is very nice. Now we're going to go over to my studio. And I'm going to show you how to paint in sunbeams. If you'll follow me this way. This is my studio. And guess what? I live right in back of this beautiful scene. This was a late summer scene. And I'm going to show you how to do sunbeams. Wonderful light that we artists need. And we have a short amount of time, but I'm going to show you what we can do. I use Arches paper, very uh, substantial workable paper. This is 140 pounds. And I started a few things to show you, because we don't have time to do all of them. <coughs> you can start by... <coughs> I'm going to wet my paper. This is so much fun. Now you can take your paper down. I'm not a I don't take my paper anymore. I've been painting long enough that I can know what to do with it. Um, <clears throat> if you use 300 pound paper, you don't have to worry about taping at all. Whatever, whatever it is you like to do. Water, paint. I'll take my big trusty mop brush. I'm going to get some wonderful greens and some sienna. Now, if you want to, you can leave that center area. That's the golden means. Now, where to paint? Uh, you can <coughs> use some white out. I'm not going to do that today because I've done this before. Yes, I'm just going to slop it in like this. Get some gold in there. Now, don't forget, you can put all your trees and your little road in here. I've penciled out a road, as you can see in that painting. But we just have time to do one area. Now, that's totally wet. And when you're using watercolor paper, you want to kind of hold it up and see what stage of wetness and dry that it's going to be. And I'm going to take some tissues. Make sure you have plenty of tissues. You're going to need them. 
Watch what I'm going to do. Here's the magic. Are you ready? Oh, that's fun. Watercolor allows you to work very fast. When you're working in acrylics and oils, a little bit more time. Our watercolor, and you can see with just a few strokes, the wonderful effects that you can get. <coughs> I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration and I've been really glad to be with you today. And I want to wish you happy painting. Finally, art has changed my life in that what was just ordinary has suddenly become extraordinary. Happy painting to you all.